In round three, our experts will answer two questions, this time for $5 a piece. And while they're thinking, the other experts are going to bet on whether or not they know the answer. And if they guess right, they'll make just as much money as the expert who's answering. And we're going to start with Warren. What blood thinning drug developed from vampire bat saliva is used to prevent strokes and heart disease? Think about that. Your opponents are going to think about whether or not you know the answer to this question. What blood thinning drug developed from vampire bat saliva is used to prevent strokes and heart disease? Uh, so, Warren, answer the question. Court of something. Court, court of something. something. We're not going to give you something for court of something. Uh, it's Draculin is the name of the drug. Okay. Draculin. Uh, Amber thought you'd get it right. And of course, Dave thought you'd get it right. So no harm, no foul. We move on to you, Dave. Here's your first question. In part two, Freddy's Revenge, what reason does Rod, Ron Grady give for being grounded? In part two, Freddy's Revenge, what reason does Ron Grady give for being grounded? Warren very secretively, secretively deciding whether or not he knows it. And Dave, do you know it? I do. He threw his grandmother down a flight of stairs. That is correct. Let's see if we get a couple of rights here. Everybody gets some money there. Look at that. Okay, Amber, we're going to go to you. Your first one. When the show was canceled in 2006, what premium cable channel was interested in picking it up? We're talking about Arrested Development, Warren. What premium cable channel? Dave seems like he's got a gut feeling. And tell me, Amber, what cable channel was it? That would be Showtime. That would be correct. Yes. And we're right, right, and right all oh, across the board. There's been no difference here. We move now to you, Warren. Back to another bat question. What are the three species of vampire bat? This is a three-part answer. Three species of vampire bat. We're deep into bats now. Dave mulling over whether to think you're going to get it right or wrong. Are you committed yet, Dave? I am. Warren, let's hear. Uh, I have no clue. Really? I actually was going to look that up, but I did not. Okay. <laughs> you should have. Yeah. Uh, common vampire bat, hairy-legged vampire yeah. bat, and of course, the white-winged vampire bat. Of course, the white-winged vampire bat. Amber, thought you'd get it right, and so did Dave. Man, across the board, Warren, we're down. doing Sorry. okay. <laughs> Dave, let's go to your second question. What song did Bruce Dickinson of the band Iron Maiden write for Part 5, The Dream Child? Part 5, The Dream Child. Look at Amber looking at you, seeing if you know it. Poker face, poker face. Warren couldn't care less what you're doing with your face. <laughs> he comes in, and now Most we're ready don't. for the answer. Right. The, that, the that, Iron Maiden song. It's actually won the Razzie for worst original song that year. It was Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. <laughs> that is correct. Look at that. Oh, Warren thought you'd get it wrong. Somebody had to break the mold, and it was Warren this time. We have Amber's last question of the round. In season two, the episode The Immaculate Election, what Bluth employee is fired after being caught in bed with Buster? And what was her replacement caught in bed with Buster later in the show? Um, Lupe was fired, the housekeeper, and she was replaced with a Roomba. With a Roomba. Exactly right. Right and wrong, Warren. <laughs> really taking it hard in the last two questions. At the end of the round, $34 for Amber, our leader, $33 Dave in second place. Warren, so in this game with 21 as we head into round four, our expert of experts round.